from San Jose, California. Uh, an exciting, dynamic fighter. I think we expect uh, a ton of action in this one right from the get-go. We absolutely do. Uh, he is a resident of Florida in USA, and he's a real scrapper of Irish descent. And as of four days ago, he is a father of a lovely baby girl. And he'll face uh, a very exciting fighter as well. Uh, both guys have the ability to uh, to kickbox and to really mix it up. Uh, let's hear about James Martinez. When you got a nickname like King James, you're putting a little bit of pressure on yourself. But this guy loves it. He loves the limelight. He loves the interviews. Tip-top shape. A Muay Thai guy who has a lot of style on the ground. You know, coming in, 5'8", 155 pounds, 27 years old, with a, with a record of five wins, two losses, and one draw. In the house, King James Martinez. James Martinez going around the ring, very much in the tradition of Muay Thai. He is cornered by Mike Wigglejohn and hails out of New Mexico. One thing you can expect in this fight is some spectacular kicks. Big fan of that to me, mixed martial arts is at its best when, when guys come in and they use every weapon that they've got. You see, you see with the smaller guys more than you see with the bigger guys. Martinez coming in with a really hard right push kick. And he comes in with a right to the body, left hook. He's staying out of range. Hooks him into the table and gets the takedown. Martinez on his back. I would have thought that this is exactly what Trumpeton wanted this fight. On the mat. Now he's on top. And, uh... Trumpeton has passed the guard and gotten into side mount on top of Martinez. Martinez using that uh, knee up top so that Trumpleton can't get the mount. Trumpleton turning onto his side. Not a lot of strikes there on the ground as of yet. And it looks like Trumpleton thinking about a leg lock. And Martinez pushes him away. Martinez getting ready for an up kick. Martinez uh, getting ready. Knees to chest. Trumpleton again in side control. A lot of grappling, not a lot of striking. And there's uh, one attempt, two attempts by Crumpleton. The punch one. Oh, good right hand by Richard Crumpleton. And James Martinez stands back up. And they're fighting. Oh, nice kick by Martinez. Crumpleton puts him on the takedown. I'm not sure that any real big blows were landed there. Bunkleton getting the side mount once again. Well, clearly the aggressor right now, Richard Bunkleton. Yeah, and they're going to have another restart because they're sliding out of the ring. Weird kind of delivery there from Martinez, who came way over the top. Way over the top of this. That's going to count for some points. So far it's been all Crumpleton. Crumpleton gets him out of position now. What's he in danger of now? He's in danger of a lot of things. He's in danger of getting ground and pounded right here like this. He's also in danger of getting arm barred. Right. And see, he's going to start taking punches. What Martinez needs to do, besides punch up like that, is he needs to roll Crumpleton over to the side and get him off of him. Because Crumpleton can relax here. Trumpleton can hit Martinez, but Martinez, for the most part, cannot hit him with straight punches. Trumpleton chopping away, missing some of those elbows. Martinez coming back up top. Martinez doesn't seem too concerned and hasn't eaten a lot of significant leather yet. See, there's one thing that Martinez is doing, and watch. When Trumpleton goes to throw a punch, Martinez rolls his head. A lot, it's, it's a lot like a fighter bobs and weaves while standing. Watch. Oh, 
elbow, but that landed. Those two left elbows are landing hard. Count a count here in round one. Jake oh! Big shot! The referee is so close to stepping in. He inched his way in. Martinez is bleeding. Martinez is dazed. And not defending himself very well. This is borderline at this point, isn't it? And that's it. And that's it. It's over. Round and pound victory for Richard Cleet. Here's the Budweiser replay. I'm Showdown Joe. But what an excellent display of executing your game plan by Richard Crunkleton. As you can see here, all he wanted to do was wait for Martinez to raise that left leg and throw a kick so he could take him down to the ground. Every time he did that, he was in there right away. As you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, once he got that leg, he just lifted him up and boom, slams him down on the ground. This is where Crunkleton wants to be versus Martinez. On the ground, working his ground and pound. And once he got the mount and started raining down those blows, it was over. The ref had to step in there to save Martinez. Back to you guys. At one minute to count this opponent, that of TKO. In the first round, the winner by TKO at 3 minutes 42 seconds, Richard Pumpkill Panther. This is Aaron Tohill. We're at Freedom Fight 2005, and I'm speaking to Rich Crunkleton. Came off a very impressive TKO off a very game James Martinez. How do you feel about that? I feel great. He was really good. Excellent kickboxing. Uh, so that's what I plan on. I went for the takedown. Worked in my favor. Did you not want to stand with him? You guys would rather go to the floor? Because I knew if it was a stand-up war, that's exactly what it would be. Because he's amazing on the feet and so are you. So, Well, I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to do a little of both. Get him out of his game plan a little bit. Uh, I like kickboxing. I like wrestling. I'll do them both. So. Were you a little surprised how the fight ended that, you know, I mean, I know he doesn't have as much experience on the ground, but the way that he turned his back and you just kept, but you kept throwing some pretty strong elbows, so. Well, uh, on the very first elbow, I saw a cut open up and I kind of had a feeling like it was coming kind of close, so I just kept following up on the same side and uh, eventually he just turned to me. And that's what you did, went in for the kill, so. Awesome victory, and we look forward to seeing you again, Thank so you. congratulations.